Hey guys, uh, back at it with more Death Guard Unification. Um, I did try out some other fashions, and they were pretty fun. But uh, I read the Death Guard books, so I'm just more attached to them. Um, so normally, this is the part where I make announcements or talk about uh, the next video. Uh, I don't really have anything planned right now. So I can just uh, go ahead and start the, the gameplay. Um, if you hear noises in the background, my my dad's doing a lot of silly stuff, and my niece my niece likes to throw things, so you you uh might hear that. All right, so I'm just gonna say it now. I did try to record this one. It was Death Guard. And I th I'll show you. I'll show you like the first uh, like couple minutes. But it did like crash on me. So it was Death Guard and Necrons, which is interesting because Death Guard and Necrons have like the same playstyle. And Emperor's Children and Admech. And I actually lost pretty much every fight uh... but necrons ended up uh... just tearing right through everybody so necrons must have gotten a huge buff because they just tore right through just absolutely everything and it, they kept destroying vehicles with just normal guns which was crazy to me so I'm not sure what's going on there usually Necrons struggle against vehicles so I'm not sure if Necrons got a buff or what um, but yeah I've been loving Death Guard I've been trying a lot of build orders so I've just been experimenting with them a lot and they're just a lot of fun so I'm just going to show you this part because it did crash on me uh, so I'm not going to show you the whole thing because it will probably crash again. Uh, so this is me playing Death Guard. And it is computer. I know there's... I know the Discord is popular. But I just could not find a lobby. Uh, so this is Necrons. They ended up just walking over everybody. Which was pretty nuts. Uh, Admech here. Admech made a lot of weird decisions um, the only thing that was a really a threat to me was the gun servitors and uh, this building here this building here just tore right through my army so see, these uh these guys here they died to like one grenade so they weren't that big of a deal Emperor's children absolutely annihilated me. Um, and what's funny is something I didn't know was at the end of the match, uh, one of their units joined my army. It was just like, hey, we decided this was a bad idea, and they just joined my army. So I'm not sure what the interaction is there. Yeah, Emperor's Children just absolutely annihilated me. Uh, which was the first time this happened, actually. Uh, I almost normally always win a fight. And Emperor's Children absolutely annihilated me. So that was interesting. It seems like it takes about two squads of Death Guard to kill one squad of... Uh, Emperor's children. And their turrets seem to be a lot better than mine. Their turrets were able to tear through like level 3 units. While my turrets could barely scratch level 3 units. So the Emperor's children turrets seem to be a lot better. Uh, and I'll show you this one here. Hopefully this one doesn't crash. I haven't tested it. This is Nocturne which is the Night Lord planet. Pretty 
cool image of uh looks like it's an Imperial Fist uh chapter taking out uh Blood Firsters. And it looks like it's forty K because he has that shield on his shoulder. That shield's like a forty K thing. So this, this is probably after the Horus Heresy, if I had to guess. I can't tell if it's fan art or official art. It's hard to say. Seems like they're on a corrupted planet and they're cleaning up. So that's cool. So this one was uh, interesting because we played... It was two elite factions with no map control versus two factions that had plenty of map control and I know this computer but the computer kicks my butt sometimes so I thought I was gonna lose this one uh, I should lose this one it's too this is creepy but they did a really good job on that this looks like a real shadow They did a really good job on that. This, makes a harvest of the God's this building is massive. I bet you can't even play this faction on every map. Because some of the starting zones are really small. It is good to suffer that we might serve you. See, I, I've been loving Death Guard. I've been playing them a lot. Uh, I love every build order. I, I just really love everything about them. Uh... Yeah, a lot of their level 4 and level 5 stuff sucks, so I've been using Does my level 4 stuff as like a shield. Your power. I kind of have to use my level 4 stuff as a shield because it's, it's not very good at fights. You are pleased? Um, so we got Krieg here. So I'm pretty sure the computer is just pressing every button that it can, but even though it's doing that, it's doing an okay job. Like, see, it's got pretty good map control. It's already got four of them, right? And I have what? We have the prize. Three and a half? No, two. Two and a half. So I have two and a half, and the computer is already almost done with map control. So I thought for sure I was going to lose this one. And here's Tyranids. Tyranids did a great job. The Tyranid computer is actually pretty we solid. The computer is a lot better than I thought it would be. I'm guessing it's just uh, faction dependent. And here's this new thing I've been trying. I, I put these uh, tree demon in the middle of the map. I still have no idea what this thing actually does. But I can turn... I can scout a certain part of the map without uh, spending a soldier. Instead of sending a squad over here, I can just put a tree here. And this bar will fill up automatically. That's not me filling it up. That's the bar will fill up automatically. So, so yeah, I've been trying like a million. I've been trying out like a million uh, doors. And they're all pretty fun. Now this was like the first time I fought Krieg, and uh, I really liked what they were doing, so I tried him out. Krieg looks a lot of fun. Ravagers and Broodlord. Honestly, this is what I do when I play Tyranids. This is exactly what I do. Um, but you should make Gaunts too. I don't see the Gaunts. Maybe on this map. Maybe you don't need Gaunts on this map. Yeah, so I learned that the Playlord uh, wins a lot of the commander fights. This commander... This commander isn't very good. But he wins a lot of the commander fights. Uh, because of his massive heal. He can basically out heal any commander. And that's what lets him win commander fights. 
So he's actually a pretty solid uh, commander killer. Which is interesting. Yeah, I had a bunch of Necron gameplay set up for you. And it just crashed uh, like halfway through recording. So nothing I can really do about that. They do update this game all the time. So maybe they'll fix it. The game is keep getting bigger and bigger, and it's almost at the point where I can't uh, install it anymore. So here's me just scouting uh, with my chaos sword, and I was surprised to see this was upgraded already. I think the computer just presses every button that it can. But I was just surprised this was upgraded already. See, none of my stuff's upgraded. So yeah. So usually it's cultists, uh, assault marines, and then normal normal marines. We have the prize. The assault marines are pretty crazy. They, they actually do way more damage than I thought they would. First tier in a fight. Pretty strong army, honestly. I had, to run, I had to run away from this. I knew my cultists would die instantly. They're stronger than most cultists, but uh, they, they would die instantly, for sure. So this is like the first engagement. I thought about waiting for grenades, but I decided to just go for it. I like the visual effects on this. This is already really cool. Seems like I'm taking. Yeah, they're not even halfway dead. 24, 28. Got my, like, flayed ones here. These flayed ones are nuts. They're super durable. Looks like I got the command squad. Massive Tyranid army. Oh yeah, another strange thing I want to mention on the... Uh, I want to see this fight. See who wins. 92, 158. See, 1800 health, 1500 health. Okay, so Brew Lord has more health, but does less damage. Interesting. And here I do a cheeky thing, where I actually heal my zombies. Uh, being able to heal this horde is pretty... It's kind of broken. This horde is like super hard to kill, and I can just heal, heal it. I kind of just stumbling around, but um, yeah, something crazy that happened in the in the chaos match was at the end of the match, the emperor's legion uh, cultists, I think, joined my army, which is interesting that the chaos guys would just join my army and I had control over them so I'm not sure what that's about uh, I might have to do more research on this game let's say I played war rip right through that so I do have grenades um, again it's elite army versus horde so pretty rough I don't even think I can run away from this Yeah, I'm pretty certain I can't even run away from that. They're screwed. So that was a squad wipe. Pretty rough. Everything's in the yellow, though. What was that? Was that like a fly or something? 
Oh, it was a shadow. I thought it was like a fly. I'm not sure what that is. To be honest with you. I really hope this Lictor doesn't lose to soldiers. That'd be kind of sad. Lictors are supposed to be like one of the best assassins out there. Here I didn't expect a bunch of Tyranids to pop out of nowhere. So I I got my butt kicked. Which is fine. I love Tyranids. So this is fine. But yeah, I didn't expect Emperor's Children to just join my army at the end of the game. I'm not sure what causes that. But that was pretty cool. Let's see, 25 to 26. That's pretty good numbers. What is this? 40 to 80. Wow. And they're cheap too. Wow. Seems like a really solid unit. Wow, they die before they can get close. 25 to 30. I'm surprised they died. This is pretty low numbers. There we go. Now we got some gaunts. Got some spore mines. Got my army back. Took a while. I was able to make it, remake it. It was a Quad wipe. So I had to start from. I had to start over. So I have no idea what this tree does. I read this thing like three times. And I still have no idea. First uh, Dreadnought of the game. I decided to go Dreadnought instead of Defiler. Uh, Dreadnoughts, uh, for some reason, so f the Defiler is 4 population, which means I can't really buy it, and the Dreadnought is 3 population. So the Dreadnought I can actually buy. Um, so I thought about making some planes, but then I realized. Uh, the plane has low health. It wouldn't really help much. So I decided to go for uh, I decided to go for dreadnoughts. And, and I haven't made a lot of Death Guard dreadnoughts, so I wanted to try it out. Fast forward a bit. Here I just kind of followed uh, the Inquisition. I'm not a uh, Unification expert. So I just followed this guy's lead, the computer. Also, I want to test out the dreadnought because I haven't really tested them out yet. As far as I can tell, the the Death Guard vehicles are pretty ass. Pretty much all the Death Guard vehicles are ass. So I haven't really uh, experimented with them a lot. Yeah, Tyranids were kicking my butt. Seems like Tyranids are a pretty good counter to uh, Death Guard. I still have no idea what this Miasma does. It's different for every mod. It seems like this Miasma does absolutely nothing. Every mod, it, it does something different. In the original mod, it would slow the enemy down to like a crawl. Which was pretty overpowered. It made sense, but it was pretty overpowered. Um, here it seems like it does nothing. So I'm not sure what this actually does. You'd think it'd be like a poison or like a... Maybe fear. Maybe it makes them scared. Oh, Ripper is cool. See what are rippers? 
Not bad, actually. They seem pretty decent. So yeah, uh, it's, this one's pretty interesting. It's like elites versus horde. So I decided to record this one. I did a few other matches, but they were kind of same old, same old. So I went ahead and recorded this. And I went ahead and sent my Dreadnought out. Um, I didn't really control him. I was pretty confident he'd be fine. I wasn't sure what the anti-vehicle would look like. But I was pretty sure he'd be fine. Here comes my demons. Uh, I, I always make the cheaper ones. Because uh, they're more expendable. Demons versus uh, Tyranids. Looks like the Tyranids won. What is that, like a stun grenade? Wow, that grenade just tore right through that. Is this like a level 3 unit? That grenade just tore right through that level 3 unit like nothing. Demons versus uh, Lictor. Looks like the de Demons won. It died in like 4 hits, which is strange. It had 700 health. So this HQ is going down pretty quick, which is weird. Because none of our units are high damage units. So I'm not sure why it went down that quick. Dreadnought is doing his thing. Around this time, uh, I think Krieg got the Earthshaker? Oh. Well, the Kree's gonna make the Earthshaker here in a bit. And he's gonna sh shoot my guys. Which is cool. It says for the Earthshaker, you have to manually control it. Which is a bit lame. But. It's fine, I guess. Let's see. Salt Marines. Uh. New Plague Lord. And some rocket launcher guys. Some Havocs. Havocs and the Rhino. The Rhinos are great. I love. Uh, the vehicles suck, but the Rhinos are great. They're pretty fragile. These Rhinos are pretty fragile. Uh, but you can upgrade them three times. So that makes them a, a little bit better. And Death Guard really needs Rhinos. So. Yeah, it's pretty much a win against Tyranids. Um, they did pretty well. Um, I guess they didn't upgrade their economy or something. Because uh, they killed my army, but I just bounced back and was fine. Oh, now they're earth shaking my uh, Dreadnought. This thing is massive. I love it. This is a cool building. This is a cool building too. I love the Krieg buildings. And th and they have a dog too, which is awesome. Any fashion of a dog is, is cool. Yeah, I'm still learning this mod. I'll probably never uh, master it. This seems to be a huge headache to master. Oh, I got, got my Rhino going. Earthshaker uh, went down. It's pretty expensive too. It costs like the same as a tank. So that's the price of a tank going down. And here I got rocket launchers. So I expected this stuff to go down pretty quick. Death Guard's uh, anti-vehicle is not the best. But... It is anti-vehicle, so I expect it to go down pretty quick. Oh, these riders. These riders are super cool. They're pretty expensive, though. 
They're like 300 for a squad, which is pretty expensive. These rocket launcher dudes are 300. So 300 for rocket launcher dudes, or 300 for the horse guys, the Death Riders. I really wish you can teleport the demons back, because now they just have to walk super slowly over here. I think my dreadnought actually goes down to this uh, turret. This turret is pretty nutty. Yeah, I might do some Krieg, uh, even though I have no idea how they win. The more I play them, the more I think, how did they win? Their vehicles are subpar, their units are subpar. I just, and they're, it's like 300 for, it's like 300 points for a squad, which is pretty crazy. I'm not sure how they win. This tiny tank, though, is adorable. It actually does high damage, but it's still adorable. Yeah, it's a shame. The moment they pump out vehicles, I got rocket launchers. Yeah, my dreadnought went down. It was like at full health too. So th this thing just took out a dreadnought by itself. So it's pretty impressive. Here I think uh, I was about to go level 5. Because I was winning all my fights. But I forgot I need the... The... This thing, the critical. To go level 5. So I had to make cultists. Yeah, this stupid thing killed my dreadnought, but it died to uh demons. So that's weird. These demons are actually tearing right through these buildings. Looks like I upgraded my rhino with the rocket launcher. So that's cool. I think they must have knew uh, Death Guard was going to be Rhino heavy because the, the Rhino has like three upgrades. Um, so yeah, Rhino with rocket launchers. Uh, Demons tore up through these buildings and Imperial, or not Imperial Guard, uh, Inquisition. Inquisition looks like they did pretty well. Looks like they built two barracks. Oh, did they build an HQ? Oh no, I think that's their armory. I like this base setup. This base, this base setup is solid. Yeah, this base setup is, is very solid, actually. What's my base setup? I don't remember. I think I just put my stuff randomly. Yeah, my stuff's just random. For some reason you can't put buildings right here. I guess it's because of this hill. I was gonna put my buildings here, but it wasn't allowed. Um, so yeah. A bit of marine action, a bit of rocket launcher action. Um, and yeah, I guess Death Guard can actually beat uh, a horde race or a map control race. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I guess their answer to the hordes is uh, grenade spam. So yeah, um, I've been getting, I've been playing Death Guard a lot. I think I'm getting better at them. I don't know if I'll, I can win the survival stuff. The survival stuff. I don't know if I can win with them. Maybe Chaos. I just dropped everything. Yeah. I just dropped everything. So yeah, I was, I was going to record more of these, but it was acting up. So here's the end result screen. Uh, I had, looks like I had double or even triple the economy. Yeah, Tyranids had 
Tyrannids had, had absolutely no economy. And they actually did the best. Which is interesting. Tyrannids had no economy and they still kicked, almost kicked my butt. They only gained uh, 2,000 during that whole round. So that's pretty nuts. My well, computer actually got more kills. But I got more buildings down. Yeah, looks like the computer did better than me. But I was uh, level 3, I think. Going level 4. And I was about to go level 5, too, once I get that critical. So, yeah. So, uh, demon action, marine action, some dreadnought action. Um, if I can get some real lobbies, I can show you some stuff. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's the only clips I have. I wanted to show you Elites versus Horde. I thought that'd be interesting. Um, I also wanted to try out bigger maps, but they crash. And I wanted to try out the like 3v3s, but those crash. So I've been doing mostly 2v2s. The 2v2s work, so I've been doing 2v2s quite a bit. Um, and yeah, I might do a 2v2 again. We'll see. Uh, it's funny, I, I've seen other YouTubers do these big epic battles without crashing. But, uh, when I do, like, a 3v3, it crashes. So, I don't know. Maybe it's a new update. I couldn't tell you. Uh, so, yeah. I'm hoping to get more gameplay in. Uh, I've been really enjoying Death Guard. And, uh, I'll, uh, yeah. That's the end of it. Thanks for watching.